The night we got engaged was filled with sadness, trying not to cry. <laughs> what? <laughs> Complete confusion, followed by fear. And then it was capped off with overwhelming joy and more crying. And that was all Meg. Meg's emotions that night. I was pretty calm most of the night and pretty collected, but she went through all those emotions. Let's get into it. So it's getting really close to our anniversary. We've been married 14 years. 14. We got married. We got married on February 29th. So we actually don't have an anniversary this particular year. We'll have one in a couple years. I thought he was really cute <laughs> when he chose that date because he's the one who chose it. And I was like, oh, he wants a special day for his little wifey wife. You know, February 29th is leap year. It's gonna be so cute. He wants a special day. <laughs> no, he's just cheap. He's just cheap. We were married for about a year. And I was like, oh, it's our anniversary. What are you going to get me? He's like, nah, -uh, honey, we don't have an anniversary for another three years. <laughs> That's a budget tip for you. Maybe I'll give you a budget tip every week. <laughs> if you're going to get married in, a, in sometime relatively soon, wait till February 29th, but there's not one till 2024, but a couple more years. Only have an anniversary once every four years. Save a little money. Okay, so before we get into the actual night that I proposed, let's get a little bit of background. So back in 2004, you were paralyzed. We dated a little bit before she was paralyzed, but if, we weren't dating at that point. If you want to see how I was paralyzed, you can click the link below, but don't do it if you're afraid of heights. <laughs> we'll make sure we put the link in, in the description below. So we had been dating on and off since after you were paralyzed a little, a little while from 2004 until 2007 when we got engaged. Which sounds like a long time. I mean, maybe not for some of you, but it felt like a long time. It was a, it was a while, huh? <laughs> I had to relearn things, like how to tie my shoe and pick my nose. <laughs> so we were we were getting serious and and talking about marriage. And I don't did we ever go and look at rings at like a store? I don't really I remember. Think so, but I can't remember. We mostly looked online, and I found one that I liked. So pretty, <laughs> perfect. It was square cut with all the little diamonds around it. Exactly what I wanted. Yeah, someone was just selling it online, so we went we went to their house to check it out, right? Yeah, he thought he was pretty sneaky. He like, did you know I bought it yes. that day? How did how did you know? <laughs> because you you <laughs> you went in normal and you came out with a giant bulging pocket, <laughs> but it's like box shaped pocket, <laughs> and you're like, I didn't get it. <laughs> We but, got a pretty good deal on it. What was the deal? What do you mean? I can't remember how much we paid for it, but the husband came out and I was still in the car. And I told him what we were there for. And I told the husband how much the wife was selling it for. And he's like, she's selling it for what? <laughs> <laughs> Must have been substantially less than he paid for it, right? Yeah. But after after 14 years, we've kind of traded in our, our fancy rings for yeah. <laughs> rubber. Rubber rings. Rubber rings. So do you remember the date that I proposed to you? No. I no? don't. <laughs> It was, I don't, it was, remember, I don't remember either. It was October. <laughs> I know it was October. Of 2007. And yeah. I remember we went up to a, a university to go to a Latin festival, right? Yeah. So Wit plays a Brazilian style of guitar called Bossa Nova. You've heard it before in the elevator. <laughs> he plays very, very good elevator music. <laughs> yeah. So this is when it gets emotional. <laughs> And it has nothing to do with the proposal. <laughs> the university that we went to was the university that I went to when I could walk and I was dancing with their team there, with their ballroom team. And um, we went to this into this ballroom at the university and I had danced in that ballroom, like in that particular room, I'd won awards there for different dances and all of that. And so it was, you know, Lots of flashbacks going on, lots of memories happening, but here I am in a wheelchair at this point, but I'm with my cute boyfriend and he's gonna play his guitar with his, you know, his band, his group, his, his like group, what was that like? I'm not very good, we were just, it was a class I was in and the group of students was playing a little song in this Latin festival with our teachers. <laughs> Anyway, we were sitting at this round table and the, you know, lots of tables. They're super Latin-y. We were eating rice and beans and um, there were lots of different groups playing, you know, all of this Latin music and your group went up and played and then you guys came back and sat down and my back was kind of to the stage and we were eating our, you know, rice and beans and stuff. And then the music changed from like, from like, Acoustic. Acoustic, drums, guitars, maracas, you know, stuff like that, to like a system, like a beady music, you know, like a... 
just like this. <laughs> okay, so it was like this and it was nice and um, I turned to look at the stage because the music was different, you know, and sure enough, these two Latin dancers came and they took the stage and they were dancing all around and my eyes just like filled with tears. I was so sad, but I didn't want to blink, you know, because I'm with my boyfriend and all of his friends and his teachers <laughs> and stuff. And I didn't want to blink, so I'm just looking, you know, at the stage and I'm like <laughs> staring at these dancers and because if I blink, the tears are going to fall, but if I can keep my eyes open, it just looks like I have allergies. <laughs> and so I'm looking and I'm praying and every time you have trials, you resort to praying, whatever God you believe in. And I was like, please, 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 you know, just let me get up and dance with them. I promise, I promise. I will not ask for anything as long as I live. You know, just let me get up and dance with them. I'm not exactly sure what would have happened had God answered my prayer in the way that I wanted him to at the time that I wanted, you know, I would have just like jumped out of my wheelchair, you know, run to the, pushed her out of the way. May I, could he? Like, somebody would be like, I think that girl just jumped out of a wheelchair. Like, hallelujah. As it was, um, it didn't happen. And I didn't want to blink because I didn't want my boyfriend to see me cry. And so I was super sad, you know, and I, I excused myself and I just went out into the hallway and I found a really big plant and I hid behind it and I cried and I cried and I cried. And then I prayed some more. <laughs> and, you know, our faith, we believe in, you know, the plan of salvation where we believe we lived in heaven, we believe we're on earth now, and we believe we're gonna live in heaven again. We're gonna get these resurrected bodies. Um, and they're gonna be perfect. They're gonna dance Latin style in heaven. That's not part of the faith, but I believe this. <laughs> And so um, I was praying and I was like, just bless me with more faith in the plan of salvation. And um, we believe the one who made it possible is Jesus Christ. And I really felt like he listened and he cared and he came and um, all of a sudden I stopped crying. Like I wasn't sad anymore and I was able to go back into that ballroom and not just watch those Latin dancers dance, but I was able to enjoy it, you know, because I know that this life isn't all there is, and I know that there's more after, and I know that I'm gonna walk again, and I know that I'm gonna dance again, and there's gonna be Latin dancing, and that's gonna be a perfect world. And in a perfect world, you're gonna be able to Latin dance, <laughs> and you're and gonna like it. <laughs> yeah, one time when we could walk when we were dating, I called him up, because I was gonna take him dancing at the Tropicana, and um, I had on my black dress and my high heels, and out of sheer excitement, I called him up on the phone, and I was like, are you so excited yeah, to go Latin move. dancing? shouldn't have called. <laughs> and he's like, I'll go, but I'm not gonna have any fun. <laughs> I was willing to go. <laughs> I know, yeah. that's true, we should have gone. You, you could have proved that it was fun, but I know. you didn't. I would have. And so anyway, he showed up to pick me up, and I changed out of my black dress <laughs> and my high heels into pajama pants, and I never wear pajama pants. I have to be going to the emergency room to be wearing <laughs> pajama pants on my body. And so I had on pajama pants, and I was like, we're gonna play board games, which neither of us like to do. <laughs> so the night started out a little bit, you were sad, you're trying not to cry a little bit, but you got over it, you're okay. And then um, I was happy. Then you were happy, and so the, the event ended, and we had about an hour drive home, and we, we got in the car and started heading home. And something about Meg is if, if she is in the car for longer than about 10 minutes, she's gonna fall dead asleep. <laughs> Even if I'm driving, super <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> and so we had an hour drive, so we took off and, and we're driving home, and of course she fell asleep on the ride home. So we got to Meg's house and, and she was still asleep, and I, it was perfect for me because I had planned to, to propose that night and she was dead asleep, so I told her I was gonna run into the house and just pull her covers down off her bed so she could get into her bed. And when she's not pregnant, yeah. When she's not pregnant, a lot of times how I'll carry her is I'll just put her on my back like a backpack. and Like a piggyback. Like a piggyback, like a backpack, like a piggyback. We call it backpack. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll piggyback her and, and so that's what I was, that's what I did. I was going to put her on my back. But before I say that, did you know, like I went to turn your bed down. Do you know I was gone for like 10 minutes? No, I didn't. I had no idea that he was gone for like a lengthy amount of time. <laughs> All I knew, I was just sleeping. I was just sleeping in yeah, the car. Ex exactly. So I went, so I went back and, and got her and I put her on my back and we were heading into her house and she was, you know, the 
basement level floor, you know, I'm just straight in. I'm still kind of groggy. She was a little groggy. And, and how, how the layout of the house was is you walk right in the front door and the first door on the right would be her bedroom. So we, we start heading and we head in the front door and I just walk straight past her bedroom and that's where the confusion started coming in. She's like, what are you doing? Where are you going? She was kind of tired, still I was asleep. Like, I, what thought, are you doing? I thought I was going to go to bed. <laughs> so, so she was really confused at that point. And I just kept walking. I didn't say anything, just kept walking. And then I started walking and out the back, I walk out the back door. He like walks clean through the whole house. <laughs> he just like keeps walking clean through the whole house to the back door. Then he opens it. And I, I was opened like, the back door and then she's like, where are we going? And then we all went outside. It was sleeping. pitch black. I'm not sleeping anymore. <laughs> and all of a sudden the fear kicked in. She was super scared. She's like, like, what are we doing? Where, where are we are, going? Why are we back here? <laughs> And we can see like a, a little fire I had, like in our backyard. I was like, somebody's back Somebody, here. <laughs> what are you doing? Where are you <laughs> taking me? She sacrificed me. Yeah, she thought I was going to take her back in the backyard to burn me up. Burn you. <laughs> <laughs> what, what What do you think was happening? I thought I thought there was like a party going on. Like my brothers were back there, you know, with their friends or something. And I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are we going back here? <laughs> <laughs> so we, we kept heading back there. I had a I had a camp chair kind of sitting out there that I was gonna put you on, and we kept walking out there, and and I had out there six pumpkins. Did you? How long? It seems like it took a while for you to register what's going on. I, know, I was kind of I was really asleep when he got me out of the car. So he comes, you know, he's got me on his back, and we go over, and you sit me down on the chair, and I'm like, there's nobody else here. There's like a fire, and then I look at the pumpkins, and. They say, and something about Wit that you probably don't know is he's really artistic, like really, really artistic. We have art in our house hanging up and pottery that you've made. Like he's, he doesn't admit it and he's like, I'm not that good. So he had carved um, all of these pumpkins like with precision. <laughs> <laughs> and each one had a word, Meg, will you marry me? Question mark. And like on these, some were on a cooler, some were on like a bench. And like, and so I read all of those and then it just registered and I started to cry. And I was like, oh my God, this is better. I didn't even say yes. I just was like crying <laughs> so hard. The crying and, gave it away. Yeah, and then you just like got on your knee and you got oh, the... Oh, that's what I was going to ask. Did I actually get on my knee and mm -hmm. do anything? And you what got happened? the box. Yeah, you I did. And you, you, you like pulled my finger up, you know, because my finger is like... And so you like pull it up and you like, you know, slide the ring on and everything. That's when like the last emotions were happening. She had overwhelming joy and <laughs> overwhelming she was crying. It wasn't she it overwhelming joy. She was overwhelmingly joy. joyful. She just cried and cried and cried. Weeping. I was, I was <laughs> weeping. I was so happy. I mean, I've been paralyzed for four years and we'd been talking about it, you know, thinking about it, but like this was real, <laughs> you know, like this was real. and. You'd spend actual money, which for you is a big deal, <laughs> <laughs> on the ring, and it was just amazing. So that was the night that we got engaged, which was amazing and um, awesome. And then it started to get really real with like, oh my gosh, I'm really gonna get married and I'm gonna get to move out of my parents' home. <laughs> Dare I dream. <laughs> we were sitting on the couch this one night and uh, we were holding hands, watching TV, and he was holding this hand. So. This hand's like, you know, like my, what is this hand? Whatever, my monster That's your hand. diaper changing hand. Yes. You I, want to see about diaper changing? <laughs> click here. Yes, this is my magical surgery. It's why I didn't have to change diapers with my teeth. Love it. Uh, but he was holding this hand here. Can you hold it like with that hand and with so they can one? see? So we were holding hands on the couch. Like obviously we were not doing, we were on the opposite side. <laughs> but it's important that you see because my fingers were like dead lobster fingers like that. <laughs> You know, because I can't move my fingers it on this hand. On. Yeah. And so obviously I was on his other side. And I was looking at our hands and I pushed him into the leather of the couch so that my fingers wrapped around his hand. And I was like, oh my gosh, like what kind of a subpar wife am I going to be? I can't even like wrap my fingers around his hand. Like started to think about all the things I wouldn't, you know, wouldn't think I was going to be able to do, you know, like take care of the house, take care of my husband, take care of a family, like, are we going to even have a family? Like all of those things that I was wondering about. Um, and I, I looked up at him and I, I asked him, I was like, doesn't it bother you that I can't walk? And something else about Wit that you probably don't know is that he's always honest. Like he always tells the truth. He always tells the truth. 
And if he doesn't know what the truth is, and he doesn't say anything, <laughs> he's a rather quiet person. And so, but if he does say something, then I am confident that according as, you know, to him, and as far as he knows, like that is 100% true. And so, anyway, I asked him, I was like, doesn't it bother you that I can't walk? So he's quiet for a minute. He nods. Then he looks at me and he's like, yeah, but not as much as it would if I couldn't be with you. Because you love me so much. <laughs> Um, so I think at that moment I knew that it was going to be okay, no matter how many disabilities I had or how limited I was, he was always going to love me. Well, we hope you enjoyed that story and it was fun for us to reminisce on the night we got engaged. And remember, when life gets too hard to stand, just keep on rolling. <laughs>